ask you those questions again. And okay. I apologize, but that's okay. It's so cute in the background, and the little one is walking up as you're as I'm talking. So <laughs> I'm excited. You're excited. Yes. What do you think the public is going to think? I think the public are, are really going to love the zebra and they're going to be excited to see them interacting with the rhinos and just to have zebra here on zoo property is a big deal. I mean zebra is so charismatic and everybody loves zebra. Who doesn't love zebra? Yeah. Um, now of course you're going to educate people about, there's probably little things that people thought they knew about zebras but they're going to learn more about them while they What can they learn about the zebra? Well, zebra look fuzzy and nice, but zebra are the, one of the more aggressive animals, so they're usually the bosses in the yard. Um, so uh, oftentimes you can't have different species of zebra with other animals, such as the grevies. Um, we're hoping that they get along with the rhino, we're counting on it, and uh, I think that these girls are, are good characters for this. They're really aggressive? Yes, they can be quite the demons. Uh, what are some of the questions that you, you get from kids, maybe? Like, um, do they really have stripes on their skin? A lot of questions, or the biggest question is, are they black with white stripes or white with black stripes? And their skin is black, so they're technically black with white stripes. Although to me, it looks like they're white with black stripes. <laughs> okay, what about their mane? Uh, their mane is pretty bristly, and the color often goes up into, so the stripes go up into the mane in a lot of the, the, the zebra. Yeah, and just so. looking at them now, their ears are, um, they're really, they're big. They're bigger than I thought they would be. Well, the Grevy Zebra do have the biggest, roundest, fuzziest, prettiest ears. So that's one of their distinguishing characteristics, along with the dorsal stripe. You'll see the hair on the back. Um, it's actually raised uh, at least like an inch, and so that's pretty cool. And then they have the white bellies, and their stripes actually go all the way down to their hooves, which the other zebra species, they have they have white stockings. So. Well, if you had a chance to name them, since you're spending a lot of time with them, what, what would you name them? Uh, well... We call them right now, we call them Big Girl and Little Girl. So the keepers are working on names, but we're actually going to wait for the, the public to name them. Yeah. Um, you've got to spend a lot of time with them. What are their personalities like? The larger one is the older one, and she's much more comfortable with new things. The smaller one is more skittish, and she follows the big one more. Uh, so that's, you know, she's been following the big one. So at least we have a leader in the group. Good, good. Uh, they're, um, the big one is out here. Oh yeah, I think that they're not going to be shy, plus they're very food motivated, so wherever we put the hay, that's where they're going to be. How much hay is she eating? Uh, they get almost a bale each a day. And a bale is about how much, uh, how many pounds? Uh, it's about 45 pounds a day. Wow. <laughs> plus grain. <laughs> now what is, um, I guess what's one thing for sure you want people to know about the Brevard Zoo and the, the newest residents here? Well, we are definitely committed to conservation, and by participating in the Grevy Zebra uh, conservation. It's, it's adding another species to our list of, of animals that we're trying to help and support. Um, so they're really just a really cool animal. Yeah. Do they make any funny sounds? The uh, Grevy Zebra actually sound more like donkeys and asses than like a horse whinny. <laughs> they're closer to the ass family than the horse family. I'm not being funny. <laughs> so they make more of a, a donkey bray than a horse Winnie.